We are doing some iguana hunting today, YouTube. YouTube, you're watching Swamp Fox Adventures. I'm Wally, and we are actually doing some iguana hunting today. Kaza hunted iguanas all day yesterday, and then she spent the night sleeping. Luna slept inside. Chaco slept outside. Chaco wants to be an inside dog so bad. Yes, you do. You're a good girl. Maybe someday you can be an inside dog. Okay, I've got something in this box to show y'all. And we got three guns. Baby, you shooting today? Uh, I might shoot well. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Looks like I gotta grab another gun. I'm about to show y'all what's inside this box. Okay, here we go. There is my Muddy Masters Sportsman's Club hat in Bottomland camo. Just got that shipped out. Lucas sent it to me. That's his channel. He's a hometown boy out of Hellhole Swamp, South Carolina. So I'm gonna be wearing that as we hunt tonight or as we hunt today. And we're getting ready. We gotta load up some bags. We gotta stop and get some ice because I think we're gonna do a catch clean cook with the iguanas tonight. I'm gonna eat that shit. Grilled barbecue. Grilled barbecue sounds delicious. Yeah, might as well. We already got a bunch of sides. Fire shit up. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, sounds good. Muddy Masters also has a YouTube channel, and I'll include that link in the description of this video. And I will include a link to a great video. I'm not sure who put it out, but it was put out several, more than several, good number of years back on Lucas's grandfather's Guy Fox Pick and Parlor up in uh, Cordsville, I think it is, or um, Bethera. It's an awesome, awesome little video. Y'all will love it. You definitely got to check it out. Like, if you don't check out anything, you definitely got to check out this video. It's awesome. I love it. Raph's feeding Thunder some hay. I'm drinking some coffee, and we're about ready to get this day underway, y'all. Uh, Kaza, you're not listening. Kaza does not get to go hunting with us today because we are going to a horse farm and Kaza is a horse barker. It's a little overcast, so hunting is gonna be a little hard today. Um, hopefully the sun comes out, cooks some of this off, and we're able to get some really active iguanas. It's, it's sprinkling, so we're not sure how active the Iggies are gonna be. Okay, our first stop is Plaza Soto to get some ice from the store there. Um, we're not market hunting today, but we are going to do a catch, clean, and cook. So we're just going to limb and tail the iguanas, and then we're going to dispose of the carcasses because all we're eating is legs and tail tonight. Okay, we are heading towards Hatillo, and it did look clearer over there than it looked here, but now that we're getting closer to the coast, it actually looks like it's raining in Hatillo as well. So we're gonna see what it's doing. And we're about to see how big the surf is today. Not giant. It's not small either. And it's definitely not small. It's still all like choppy, like all over the place. We are pulling up to Plaza Soto. So real babes can run in and grab some ice to keep our iguanas cold. Ice, ice baby. And our water, because I like cold water. I like cold water. Chill, sir. I secured. Yeah. We don't know what we're doing tomorrow yet, but we are doing a fishing charter with Santana out of Club Nautico here. We're doing a full day, and we're doing that on Monday. Just came over the Otacibo River. We're going to take the 
coastal route up to basically CVS and then we're gonna take that, the Highway 2 into Hatillo. It looks like the sun is coming out a little bit, which is good. We want those Iggy's moving. There's a statue. You are by far a much, much better navigator than real babes. Thank you. Thank you. I, may, I may have done this a time or two before. <laughs> <laughs> I also drive a lot, so I know how I like it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottom line. This is an absolute magnificent property. We have arrived. Now it's time to start loading up some magazines. Okay, we're about to start loading up mags um, because the sun came out, so we might get a good bit of shooting in today. Okay, we got mags loaded up. We're ready to shoot. Bang, bang. Getting sun right now. I'm still dealing with a little bit of a leak, a slow, slow, slow leak, but I still got a leak in the FX. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stick to this property um, and just make sure that you're mindful of what might be behind what yeah. you're shooting and where that iguana might drop. Okay. Yeah, and we'll let you know. We're gonna start at the bottom of the property first. Okay, we're gonna head down and start at the bottom of the property. Everyone's shooting but myself. I'm videoing today, but. I'll end up using, Real Babes is using my gun right now, and I'll end up doing some shooting a little bit later on. And the sun came out, I'm so excited about that. Now because the sun just came out, they are gonna be towards the top of the trees trying to get as much sun as possible so they can heat up and start grazing for the day. Oh. Got him moving. Hit him again. Right up there. You got him? Good. Yeah. Number one. First one down. I'm about one click. I'm about one click. Very good headshot. Well, we'll get the back legs off him. Oh uh, yeah. So, a little bit of eating. It's my, my first time shooting one. Oh, is it really? Yep. Nice, man. Yeah. Last time we, we used one of those uh, thing, yeah, the, uh, the we noose. Remember oh, the yeah, thing. yeah. With the fishing pole, the telescopic pole. Yeah. Oh, that was the last time. Marcos just spotted one coming down the tree. Can you see him? He's through a lot yeah. of brush. I will see if I can see him in the scope. I think you went high on that one. It's turning, it's looking at you. That was low. It's going back up. Oh, see the big one? Followed the same branch. The little one moving, see it? There's a big one laying flat on the branch like swirling. Oh, I got the little one. I see the bigger one too. Got it? That was low. There you go. Okay, we're gonna start from this end of the horse training flat and work our way to the other end. We're basically just gonna work this tree line here. You nail another one? Oh, I see him. That's a male. Good looking one. The first one he can retrieve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Remy the iguana retriever. Yeah. Yee, got to get his first iguana. Oh, oh, nice. Remy's first Iggy. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. 
killed four, two were retrievable. So we got two for the pot so far. We are scanning trees right now because the grass in the pastures has really, really come up and it's hard to spot the iguanas when they're grazing in the tall grass. Y'all can see how tall the grass is right now. There's iguana poopies. Now, they're just starting to move because it's been so overcast today. We were really lucky to catch that first one grazing. Okay, Remy spotted another one in this tree line. I think we're going to be able to get him too because he's on this side of the chain link. Oh, I see his ass. I think I already shot that motherfucker. He's just hanging there. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's the one I Yeah, you got him right in the head. He's dead. His toes are hanging on. See if you can get his front right foot. All right, front right foot. The one on the tree? Yeah. And then if he drops, his body will swing and he'll probably lose the um, hold with the hind foot. I see him. You got him? Nice. Well, we're not eating good, but as of right now, we are eating. eating. We're eating. We got four, four shish kebab sticks. Yeah. There he is. Oh, cool. We got some good meat on him. See one? Another one? Yeah, one over here. There you go, Come shoot. Iwana. That's what's for dinner. For tonight, at least. Nice shot. That's that one. Oh, yeah. That was a good go. hit. <laughs> he's, I didn't hear him drop. He should, though. I think he's. Those claws are locked in. Yeah. He's flailing. Do you see him? Because I don't see him anymore. <laughs> Skinny Remy has to cross the fence. Just watch your step, okay? Because there could be holes and stuff right here where they burrow. Oh, yeah. You don't want to roll an ankle. Yeah. I know that's not scary to a young man like yourself, but... Oh, no. It is scary. We're old people, man. Rolled ankles <laughs> is scary. Hey, Remy, Rolled ankles. If you can cut down that way, you'll be no, in the no. shade. It'll be easier for you to get over to the um, retrieve. Yeah, there's no grass, too. Remy just crossed two fences to get in there. We lost a visual on this guy. So Remy crossed the fences so he's got a better shot and to retrieve him. Okay, we just got a report back from Remy that the trees on the other side of the fence line are loaded with iguanas. So I came back to swap out SD cards because I have no more room and to grab my rifle. Looks like we're back in business, y'all. Owie. I just took a tumble down my favorite little steps. I got the first boo-boo of the day. Ooh, cold water smarts a little. I'm gonna retrieve my rifle and go join up with them. Kind of spiky oh look, we're matchy-matchy. You got your boo-boo and baby. I got my boo-boo. Look at your boo-boo. Yeah, your boo-boo was worse. Oh, I'm so sorry, It's honey. doing better now. <sighs> I irrigated it with some water. We're good. Okay. And then give your gun to Remy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Forgot how tall you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to police these guys up. We're going to go lop them, trim some tail, trim some leg, get them on ice, and then we're going to work another tree line. Oh, it's the boo-boo stairs. I've always been scared I was going to fall because I have several times. I have almost fallen several times. So today's the first fall. That is an iguana nest cavity. And that's why we're clearing them off this property because we don't want horses stepping in those. I got a boo. Yeah. 
he wants to go up and document what the farrier's doing. So he, oh, the farrier's here today. Yeah, and they got 50 heads, so that's a, that's a yeah. day, you know? For y'all that are not horsey, a farrier is the person that takes care of the horse's hooves. They trim them, they shoe them, um, they heat up horseshoes and bend them to ah. fit, nail them in, all that stuff. Okay, you ready to start doing some Iggy's? Yeah. Okay, there's all our gear. We've got a bunch of parrots that just landed in this tree. And I thought they were Quakers, but they are white wings. I wish one would pop up so I could show you all on camera. And then grab that knife. And then cut through the skin. You don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm over here. I just I was holding the bag in the other end. Okay. You're going to be the holder and the knife cutter. Okay. Okay. Right. Grab another foot. I'm going to put this cover in your pocket now. All right. And then cut through the skin with the knife. Cool. And now we'll get the front legs on him too. Yeah, I think Remy has it. Yep. It's in my, my pocket, my left pocket. And if the knife goes dull, I mean, you can just drop the legs. We'll put them in the bag later. We're going to wash them. All right. Fucking swimmer's iguana. Okay, now hold them by the tip of the, not the tip of the tail, but right there is good. And we're going to take that and cut them free there with press back there you go and those movement or that movement is just um just nerves, nerves. yeah <laughs> don't get don't get whipped by the tail okay now hold them up we're gonna cut right about there and the tip can get thrown away and that piece can go with the other ones that's nice. cool <laughs> Fresco! <laughs> and if the knife goes dull, I got the sharp. Yeah, right so actually, we're just going to take hind legs on this guy. Okay. He's a little one. He's a little guy. But that headshot. Uh -huh. That is a good headshot. Down a little. You see that break in it? Yep. There you go. Those were <laughs> those were iguana testicles. Not <laughs> tail <laughs> not moving at all. And then this one, both legs or all four? Uh, let's just do the back ones on this guy. We usually get real big ones. These guys are a little, no, not a little bit. They're a good bit smaller than we usually shoot here. And then we'll get the tail on him. You want to come in with the bag, baby? <laughs> You're really good at that. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that tail. Yeah. Shake that tail. Oh, like right above the testes. Y'all see him? Iguana testicles. <laughs> All right, rather than Rocky Mountain oysters, those are jungle oysters. Jungle oysters. <laughs> jungle oysters. Whip, whip, whip. Okay. And I'm just going to leave whip, the iguana whip. stuff here. I'm put the knife in the sheath. And uh, uh, we'll leave it there. Yes, we will eat that. Yes. We're going to throw that in a bag and get it on ice. Yeah, Real Babes is going to go start scouting up ahead, and we're going to start working our way towards the house as soon as we get these mags loaded. Yeah, we cleared that pasture, so I'm going to move up this way. Yep, yeah, okay, we got no more uh... yeah. Okay, we're moving on up towards the main house. Oh, he just took off. There is a giant female in front of some nest burrows, but it's on the neighbor's property, so we can't shoot it. Oh, here comes the kitty. Oh. 
This cat is so friendly, y'all. Hi, Mama. Hi. Oh, did you miss me? I know. Good to see you too. Mm -hmm. Just low. You're close, so you're gonna have to aim almost an inch high. There you go. Oh, yeah. Good Perfect. Good. Good shot. Good video. On it. And he's like doing a pull up on the branch. Perfect. Oh yeah, I came down. No one. Oh yeah. Get him. See if you can see the right now. Real Babes has a good visual. You got a rocket. Rocket and cock it. Okay. Oh, I see him now. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, and I totally hit him right in the head. He looks dead. like he's dead. Hit him in the head again so you can get some nerves to twitch. Oh, good. Nice. Uh, of course, he's hanging on by a hind foot. <laughs> three just hanging in the tree like a Christmas tree. Yeah, we might have to shoot some feet. And shoot the foot, not the leg. Hey, grande? Uh, oh, 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 see, 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 see. Laura, here's a big, big one. Marco's just spotted. Good eating male. Okay, see the big trunk closest to us? Okay, yeah. And it comes up and splits. Mm -hmm. Stay to the left. Mm -hmm. Next split, stay to the right. Go all the way up to where it bends to the right a little and you see him on the left. Good one. Good shot. Who got that one? Remy. Nice, dude, nice. That's a good eating one. How does that taste, kitty? How does that taste? There's another one right behind him in the fork that I shot that's hanging. <clears throat> Yeah, that one Marco spotted was the biggest one, I think. Oh, nice baby. <laughs> the green machine's ready. It's the green machine? Yeah, the oh, green yeah. Montero, yeah. Okay, okay. Uno o dos, is bien para ti? Uh, oi. Uno, uh, Uno, do, oi. Uh, uh, antes, tres. Okay, good, bad. Gracias. Okay. Mucho gracias. <laughs> yeah, see him, he's looking at us. Yeah. It's right where the raw wood chucks are. Yep. He's like getting him. That's a tough one. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta He's do a mad change. Come on, dude. Don't run on me. Yeah. Must have hit him in the jaw or something. Take what? Hold on. I'm going Yeah, uh -huh. but it was a long. Just to get him to move. You guys got him. He just ain't dropping yet. There, there he goes. goes. All right. The cat is so interested in the iguanas there, Remy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We'll give her some treats. You see the big one up here? This is the, this yeah. is the big one you nailed. I remember that one. There was another one. Right picture. Pet me. The cat is super stoked about the iguana. We'll feed her some. Yeah. We'll feed her some little chunks. Here, you want to hand those to myself or Real Babes? 
for you right here. I know, you keep pointing it out, dude. Yeah, he's trying <laughs> to get that other one. The grass bound one. Keep telling. Yeah. yeah. We're not getting like crazy quantities. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. We'll get all legs and tail oh, on that nasty one. That is yeah. a good headshot. Ah, good <laughs> shot, Ram Dog. Oh, speaking of which, I need to check air too in everyone's that. guns. You see that? That's a good shot. That's my boy. My boy did that. I was all worried. I didn't have keys to the green machine and we were gonna have to go home to go pick it up from Oscar. And then Real Babes and Raphael both reminded me that Oscar has the key because he was working on it. <laughs> Real Babes is scanning the back trees. And I think we're gonna start working our way back down, get these iguanas, maybe take a picture. We should have saved them all for a good trophy pick. But we're gonna take a couple of pictures of the last ones, lop them off, get them on ice, and then go pick up the green machine. We can stop and get some coffee and lunch too. Ooh, I like this. Yeah. Oh, is it, it's trying to get you. The cat does that. Yeah, it's super playful. Okay, grab up our tree chickens and we'll uh, start working our way back down. Got some big ones. And see the road up here where it turns left back to the car? Look forward along the tree line because if we can get any nesting females, that would be awesome. The wind is coming up and it looks like we're gonna get some rain. It's starting to get a little overcast. So we are really, really lucky. We racked up the number of iguanas we did while the sun was out. These trees right here in front of the stables are generally loaded with iguanas. The iguanas use these trees as roosting trees where they get their sun, they sleep, and then they come down and they graze in the horse pasture here. But the weather's got their pattern a little screwed up today. When we lop the tails, we'll cut little chunks off the scrap part and I'm pretty sure she'll eat them. So they generally do, the cats and dogs love them. Let me air you up real quick too. Was there a bunch of them down there? Yeah. Okay, Remy just scouted the back uh, pasture or the horse training flat and there is a bunch. So we're gonna air up because we might be doing a lot of shooting. Okay, we just got aired up. Yeah, don't let them see you, Raph. You'll sketch them out. Myself and the cat are joining. Oh, that's a monster. That is a monster. Oh, he's oh, running. No. There's two, there's another one. I'm seeing two more down there still. Oh. Oh, did you see that one that just came back? It's moving. Okay. Okay, Marco has to leave, so we're just gonna throw these guys in a bag and we're gonna dress them out at our next stop. We'll probably just stop on the side of the road and do it. Yeah, sounds like a plane. Just so we can get them nice and cold. Okay, we are leaving the farm and we're gonna go process some of these Iggy's real quick and then we're picking up the green machine. I'm so excited. It's Guana! It's Guana! I'm not 100% positive, but I think this is the first time a Muddy Masters hat was ever worn iguana hunting. Okay, we are here at Oscars. No más escucháis. Sí, sí, es bueno. Yeah. Oscar is a rock star when it comes to ACs. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, Raph's going to roll with me. We still got to cut up iguana somewhere. All right. What do you think about heading over to that Bar Barceloneta spot? That's too far from here. Okay. Well, Yeah. On. Okay. I can almost grab right him. as I was coming up, and then I was like, "Well, this is a perfect spot to clean." Mm -hmm. We're stopping at the produce stand to get some avocados, bananas, 
and um, we could even shred iguana and do stuff to guana or stuff uh, avocados. Avocados, little waves on them. Yeah. Okay. You can see all the land crab burrows. Oh yeah. Up in the mangroves here. Okay, we're gonna finish dressing out some of these iggies. Poppers. Here, yeah, you can hold, you can cut, and I'll lop. Hold them by the leg. You already got a recording? Yeah, it should be recording, I think. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One carcass down. Pretty close, at least. At least the tails on these little ones have bigger meat. Okay. Okay. Oh, look how bony that is. I know. Well, all the we're dressing this female out, and I wanted to show it to y'all. See how skinny it is on the legs? There's no meat because all her calories went into egg production, and she just laid eggs. So that's why she. What she's did so you get, skinny. baby? I got some avocado or and bananas. Would you grab some batatas? Uh, I can try. Okay. One more iguana and we're done. Oh, we got a good bit of meat on those tails. Decent amount, yeah. Enough to do a catch clean cook. Feed us. Yeah, little Iggy Po boys. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Iguana burgers are pretty good. Are they? Yeah. Uh, blanch them, cook them, shred the meat, patty them up. I was also up. thinking like skin it. Filet or whatever, and then do it in like the the red chilies with the, or the Thai chilies with a little sesame seed oil. Oh, a little Asian like infusion. A little Asian flair to it. Oh, oh. Feels good though. Yeah, it's got a good seal. We're good. Real babes even scored some batatas. Yeah. Okay, we got the eggies dressed out, and now we're gonna stop and grab a little coffee at Simple, and then we're gonna go home, put the iguanas in a refrigerator, and that. Excuse me, dispose of the uh, body. How's the coffee? Good. It is incredible, man. Heck yeah. Here we are, back at Simple, because it's not only the best coffee shop in Puerto Rico, it's probably the best coffee shop in the world. That's a pretty bold thing, man. It is. Oh, yeah. All these videos, so if you go, you start watching the videos, and you start looking at the comments, you'll see all these people are, will give you a timestamp to go back onto the video and you look at it and sure enough, there's UFOs in most of his videos. Apparently there are UFOs in my videos, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Explains a lot though, Wally. What do you yeah. think about <laughs> Aliens. Aliens. It is not even two o'clock. The day is still pretty young. So we're gonna try to figure out something else to get into today. I can see Kaza from here. Hey, Kaza, you dingo dog. You do look a little wet. I think you were swimming. Okay, we are back at the homestead and we are ready to plan our next adventure. Hi. So which, which one am I? Uh, this one and put it in this trash can and then here's a lid and then i'll take the eaten parts up and we'll take the fruit and vegetables we got up too oh you can smell those iguanas can't you kaza you have to go catch your own today yeah yeah you gotta love laura having you do that Thank you, laura's there and luna's like oh you're throwing my iguana away oh that's a stinky one Okay, this is a super long video, y'all, so I'm going to cut it right now, and I'm going to start up another video. Raph and I are going to get into a car, and we're going to roll down to the lighthouse in a minute. So we will be right back, y'all. Love y'all, and see you soon.